Hey everyone, how's it going today and welcome back to another third slash fourth stimulus check unemployment benefits extension update. So right now at this current time, there are now officially 24 states that have confirmed that they will be ending unemployment early and there is technically one more state that has not yet confirmed it but there's such a strong push that it is very, very much believed that they will probably be the 25th state um, soon to end their unemployment and this could be happening any minute. It could be even just an hour from when you were watching this, or maybe it already has happened uh, by the time. But at this current point in time, there are 24 slash 25 states that are now pretty much set to end unemployment early. So we are now actually sadly at almost the halfway point where, you know, 25 out of 50 states, almost the halfway point where half of these states will now be set to end unemployment. Now, with that being said is, is that there is also definitely a push right now going on to try to fight it. We don't know how that case is gonna go. I did make a video that's literally called Coming Back and I'll put it at the very, very end screen. Long story short about it is that there are certain politicians like Bernie Sanders that are trying to fight or that is trying to fight in order to try to keep it in as many other states that have already reversed their decision as much as possible. But the general idea is that right now at this time, really anything can change. But in today's update, I pretty much just wanna share what those states are in just a little bit, just because there's so many. Um, which states are currently ending when they're specific ending the unemployment claims recently did just come out and maybe just ending this a little bit by talking about what's likely next to come so if you maybe happen to already know your state is ending maybe there's something to offer for you as well in the second half of this video so real fast before we begin remember to smash the like button because it's always greatly appreciated consider subscribing especially for future updates like this especially with a lot of information coming out um huge thank you if you guys have been here for a while always greatly appreciate and as always feel free to comment any questions thoughts about honestly just really anything at all. I'm sure there's probably a lot of personal thoughts or things that have been going on, especially after what's happening. So honestly, just feel free to share anything at all. And with that being said, let's get this video now started. So the 24 states that have officially confirmed, and we'll list that one last state, so 25, 24, 25 states uh, that are likely now set to end are going to be... Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Iowa, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, West Virginia, Wyoming, and then very, very recently, I believe from the last update, um, well, the last time we made this update, um, the new states that have now joined in are New Hampshire, Florida, and Nebraska. And then the state that's believed likely to be next right now is going to be Kansas. Now the specific timeline in terms of when they're set to end, um, this should pretty much just show the general outline and calendar so you guys know what to expect from every single state. I know that there are sometimes people that are watching this on a very small smartphone screen or they maybe just really like to listen to this as like a podcast on the side so they're not necessarily looking at this. But so we're going to read them really quickly. But essentially on June 12th, that's the very, very first wave slash first week of ending, um, a lot Alaska, Iowa, Mississippi, and Missouri is going to be set to end. The following week on June 19th, we're going to have a huge wave of several states, which is going to now be Alabama, Idaho, Indiana, Nebraska, New Hampshire, North Dakota, West Virginia, and Wyoming now set to end. The next week, so the third week of June, the end of the third week of June, we're also going to have now another very huge wave, um, and it's going to be Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Ohio, South Carolina, South Dakota, and and Texas. And I know especially because Texas is probably the biggest state of the states that are now set to end their unemployment program earlier than had originally anticipated. Uh, the day right after that, so June 27th, it's going to be Montana, Oklahoma, and Utah, and then entering into the first week of July, so right before sadly July 4 weekend um, is going to be Tennessee um, July 10th so the following week is going to be Arizona now Arizona is going to be doing a potential back to work bonus of up to $2,000 I did make a video about that it's called the approved 
$2,000 checks in some states. And I'll put that at the very, very end screen because there are about eight to nine states that are doing some uh, special bonus right now. So you might be in one of those eight to nine states. And then the final state that hasn't been confirmed yet, but is very much believed to be next, is going to be Kansas that's set to end their unemployment earlier. Now, we did also receive the unemployment claim, so maybe real fast, just a quick minute, um, is that they came out right here, and essentially, 406,000 people filed for traditional last week, 93,546, I believe, filed for PUA unemployment. So in total right now, we have actually a little bit under 500,000 filing for unemployment within a single week. And, and again, this was basically, this applies to the second week, so the week right before this, the second week in the middle of May. And again, the reason why these numbers are really, really important is actually aside from the fact that they're probably interesting to know just to gauge at the job market, but it's also because a lot of the future unemployment programs or the fact that a lot of states are ending their unemployment earlier is actually gonna be very, very heavily based off of these unemployment numbers, especially even more true in specific states because depending on how these numbers go, that's actually gonna potentially be what they use as the argument for why or whether or not unemployment should continue or end earlier than I had anticipated. So that's kind of why it's relatively important for that reason. And if you need a little bit of perspective of what they typically are, most of the second half of last year when the pandemic was happening, we had basically about 1 million people filing every single week for unemployment. So we are now actually starting to see a drastic drop. So I think that's one of the arguments that a lot of the people have been using to why you know they're, they're trying to end unemployment early. Now, with that being said, I do think it's important to notice is that for perspective, before the pandemic happened, so essentially before before everything that's been going on right now has been happening. So essentially back in the 2010s and for most of history, the typical rate is we typically have about a quarter million, so about 200 to 300,000 people file every single week. So the idea is that we definitely are ma making drastic improvements in terms of where we were before. And that's actually the argument that they're using right now for everything that's been going on. But at the same time, we are still in recovery. We still have not gone back to what the normal trend has been for basically most of the history before the entirety of basically last year. So there is still something maybe important to note. Feel free to comment if you guys had any personal thoughts about that. But aside from that, what's really going on next is, is that at this current time is, is that there's definitely a group of people trying to fight for it. There's a lot of people trying to question it on the legal side about whether or not, um, especially on the lawsuit about whether or not they actually even can legally do it or whether they should par partially do it. But I think the also other big thing is, is because we don't know what the situation is on the legal slash the lawsuit side, but it is very, very much believed is that if someone is able to maybe stand up and try to put a, uh, and really try to put, so really, really try to preach for some kind of lawsuit thing um, going on with it, is that they may potentially be able to at least extend the unemployment or extend how early. So instead of ending the first week of June, for example, maybe just put by a couple of weeks. It's actually a very common tactic in a lot of legal situations where sometimes people will put a lawsuit, not necessarily because they necessarily win the lawsuit, but because at the very least, it'll extend the amount of time someone can enjoy and continue to have a particular something until the actual verdict of the lawsuit goes on. But that, of course, right now is all speculation, uh, but we don't really know what the story is from here until we finally find out. But the idea is, is that if you happen to be one of the states that's ending the first wave is actually going to be in two weeks that's the crazy thing i just try to prepare for it as much as we possibly can because really at this time anything and everything can kind of happen really really fast so maybe consider subscribing if you guys want to for future updates if any kind of information comes up feel free to consider sharing them if you guys have any particular information but aside from that that's pretty much what i really just wanted to share in today's update maybe consider smashing the like button if you guys haven't done so and found that insightful um consider subscribing and feel free as always to comment any questions thoughts about honestly just really anything at all if you are watching this on release date or the next couple of days Happy Memorial Day. Hopefully we're able to at least rest up and try to get through after much needed after most of the last couple of basically really since most of the last couple of weeks since this entire thing started. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.